Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm back today with another video and I got a message for you guys from the Lord today. Before we dive into this word today, I need to take a second and welcome all of the new angels to the academy. This is a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable and to grow into the fullness of God. So if this is your first time to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you're already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. So hey angels, hey family. I'm so super excited to be here with you guys today. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Comment down below and let me know. Before we dive into this word today, I need to take a second and thank all of my moderating brothers and sisters. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for holding down the chat, helping me keep a safe and clean community here. I need to take a second and thank my super chat family. I love you guys so much. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. And so do you guys got your Bibles? You got to know I got mine. Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. I'm so super excited to get to this word with you guys today. Um, you guys know that before we dive into the word, we always have to take a second and allow the Holy Spirit in. Although I know he's already here because he's within me. But you guys know that we do nothing here without God. And so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Father. I thank you for this new day filled with your new grace and your new mercy, Lord. I ask that you lead and guide this conversation today, Lord. Whatever it is you want me to speak to your people, I ask that you flow through me as only only you can. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Comment down below. Amen. So I know it's real. Okay, Angel. So God told me to title this message today, Truth Exposed. There's no escape in this. And so if this is your word today, I believe that this is the season where God is going to start heightening your discernment, heightening your intuition. Listen, because there are some things that are about to be revealed in this season. For some of you guys, I feel like everything is already starting to be revealed. And so I want to start this word off in scripture. We're going to read it together as a family. And so you guys know what I always say. If you got the Bible app on the phone, then that's fine. And so God led me over to Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. I'm going to put it up here on the screen for you guys. Well, come on, y'all. Let's read it. And so it says, the Lord's light penetrates the human spirit exposing every hidden motive. And so glory be to God and God bless this word today. Let me see if I can break this thing down to you guys the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. And so this verse speaks of divine guidance. And the verse is saying that the Lord's light is a lamp to the human spirit. And so therefore, God has the ability to expose the spirit and the hidden motives. And so the verse is encouraging reflection. So if this is your word today, you need to sit back and reflect not only reflect on the people that's around you or that's connected to you, but this word also calls for a self-reflection. And so understand that you can use your spiritual insight to gain understanding of thoughts, motives, and characters. So this verse is to bring awareness of your spirit and of the spirit of the people that's connected to you. Woo, this is a right now word. So God intends for your conscious to be like a searchlight that illuminates your life. And so sis, what does this mean? This means that when you feel that something is not right, this is your conscious speaking to you, shining the light on what needs to be seen. So God wants to give you a heightened sense of awareness and know that your spirit is under the influence of the higher power. And so therefore, you must depend on God for divine guidance, for wisdom, and for insight as well. And so do not forget that if this is your word today, it's not just about discerning the spirits of others, but to be self-aware of your spirit as well. Amen. And so understand that man's spirit possess thoughts, motives, intentions, feelings, and desires, all of which the Lord tests. And so know that God is aware of every aspect of your inner life. So a person's spirit, it illuminates who and what they really are. And know that a person's spirit is seen by God and it shows everything that is needed to properly judge them. And so in biblical terminology, light is associated with goodness as well as truth and knowledge. And so you got to really catch this message in your spirit because God has access to the light of a person's spirit. And so the Lord knows the secrets of their heart. In the Bible, it's noted that Jesus knew what was happening in every person's spirit. And so if this is your word today, don't neglect your conscience. The Lord gave it to you. So it is called the candle of the Lord. Understand that it is a light from God to help you make decisions. And so this will allow you to do what is right and to avoid what is wrong. And know that ignoring your conscience will leave you vulnerable. And so I don't know who it is that I'm talking to today because I feel like I'm talking directly to somebody. This is the season where God will impart wisdom to you. This will allow you to see things as God sees them. You will be convicted of the truth and your conscience will speak to you. Now hear me by the spirit of the Lord family. Your conscience will move you to act 
to speak, to turn away, or to turn toward an act of obedience. Somebody comment down below, sis, I get that if you understand what I'm saying to you guys today. And so this is the season that your intuition will be heightened. And this will allow you to have a sense of knowing. So this is when the spirit of God works in your spirit to help you know that something is true. Know that God's spirit will never contradict God's words. Jeremiah 17, 9 reminds you that the heart is deceitful above all else and is desperately wicked. Immediately afterwards, we are told, I, the Lord, search the heart. And this is that season. And so there may be some people around you that don't have the spirit that you believe that they have. Listen, they may not have the heart that you believe that they have, but God can see their spirit and he can see their heart and he's going to test it and it's going to be revealed to you. Make no mistake about it. And so pay attention in this season because God's lamp will be vital to you knowing the truth. I love you guys so much. I pray that you guys receive this word today from the heavens above. When I received this word, I just kept hearing hidden motives exposed, hidden motives exposed. And so I feel like this is the season where God is going to open your eyes to some things that you may have been um, blind to. I'm going to just say that. And so I love you guys so much. I'm praying for you guys. We are on the road to 60,000 angels. To God be the glory, but I cannot do it without you guys. I need you guys to continue to do what you've been doing, giving the videos a great big thumbs up. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. Hit that bell to turn on your notifications so you never miss a video here at the Academy. Please share the videos out with at least three or four people that the Spirit leads you guys to. If you have not gotten your holy anointed oils yet, what is you doing, poo? <laughs> I love you guys so much. The link is down below in the description. Go down below and click on that link and go over and get your holy oils. If you would like to sow a seed into the ministry, I would greatly appreciate it. All the information is down below in the description. I also have a PO box. I'll drop it here for you guys. If you guys would like to send out a money order or a check in the mail, I greatly appreciate it. Also, please send out your testimonies and whatever it is that God leads you to send. And so that is the end of our video today, family. But always remember the secret to success and say it with me, y'all. Put God first. Always be determined and consistency is key. Period. I love you guys and I will see you guys in our next video. God willing. Bye, angels. Mwah.